I'm going to build a coloring book from scratch using ChatGPT and Nano Banana to show you which tool is actually faster, which one has cleaner pages. And if you're new here, hi, I'm Shannon. I've published over 100 books on Amazon KDP and I've made over $27,000 selling digital products. If you've ever seen a coloring book niche on Amazon and thought, oh, this looks promising, but I cannot draw. AI literally solves that. And the best part, you can also turn the same book into a digital PDF and get two income streams from one project. All right, so let's jump in. First, we have to find something that's selling right now, not some random niche that people hope will work. Something that's evergreen that will last a long time. I have a few tricks for finding topics that saves me hours of research time, and I'm going to share that with you. One of two tricks that I'm probably not going to use today is searching independently published because those are the books that are published through Amazon KDP. Today, since we're focusing on the kids book, I'm going to be searching kids learning coloring because it combines learning and coloring. And if there's a parent that's going to spend money, they want to spend money on something that's entertaining, but also on something that's educational. So you'll pull up Amazon You'll type in your keywords today. I want to type in kids learning coloring, and then you'll start going through. You'll skip through anything that has a sponsored tag on it because those are actively being sponsored, meaning that they're running ads on those and those aren't organic traffic. So it's hard to tell if they're selling really well pre ads or not. So if you skip over them and we keep going, we want to look for books that aren't too reviewed because that's going to make competition really hard for a new book that has no reviews. So we keep going down and I actually put another keyword in here, coloring book vehicles, because part of my KDP starter kit that I have, I have a coloring book template and I want to do something similar. So I want to create a coloring book that has ABCs in there so you can color and learn your ABCs as well for vehicles, trucks, trains, planes. And this one looks pretty good. It does have more reviews than I care for. Let's click on it and see. It's pretty cute. There are some images on the back so you can kind of see what they look like inside. It has some videos. The thing I'm not seeing here is that it has no A plus content. So if it wasn't for the back images and it wasn't for the reviews, we really wouldn't know what the book looks like inside. And that's sort of a problem when you're selling a book and you only see three pages of what's inside. So this book could have some competition if you upload a book and you put in your A plus content. And I actually have a video showing you how to put A plus content and I'll, I'll link it here so that once you create your book, come back and watch this video so that you can create A plus content and really up your game on your KDP listing. So looking through the reviews, you can see a bunch more of the photos. Pretty straightforward, pretty simple. So let's try to create this. Since most of you already have ChatGPT, I'm gonna start with that one. So we'll pull up a chat GPT. So here's my fine tuned prompt that you can pause and copy. I'll also put it down below if you put prompt in the comments. Create a professional black and white lime art illustration for kids coloring book. The image should feature a dump truck and you change this out and you make sure you put in no face because when I use the prompt to create kids coloring books, I kept putting a cute little face in there. Use clean, bold lines with no shading or color. The style should be crisp and minimal, suitable for a high quality kid coloring book with white background. Center composition and make it eight and a half inches by 11 inches. So we're gonna be making this a learning book. I'm gonna add a letter to it as well. So if it's a dump truck, I'll add a D. If it's a fire truck, I'll add an F. So let's add that in and see what we get in ChatGPT. But today I'm just going to be creating a few images so that we get an understanding of what ChatGPT can offer. So since we're doing motorcycle, we're going to add the letter M. So I added motorcycle, no face, and a few background graphics. And I also added add a letter M with quotes on it on the page. You'll click the plus and you'll click create image. Then you'll click the little arrow to generate. I usually select and copy the prompt so that I can create the next image quickly. Okay, so it just finished. The M is a little too close to the top and there are two lines on the side. 
The lines I'm not concerned with, we can remove those or we can just edit those out. The M is a little bit tricky for me because I want to make sure that we can see the full letter. So I'm going to run this prompt one more time. I'm going to add, add a letter M on the page away from the edge. And then let's see what we get there. Prompting will only take you a couple of minutes to fix. And once it's fixed, it will save you so much time. Okay, it just got finished running. The M is away from the edge and it looks pretty good. It even removed the lines and I didn't even have to put that in there. So I will create another one. Instead of motorcycle, we'll do fire truck. And instead of M, we'll do F. We'll do a few of these and then we'll head over to Nano Banana to see what they give us with the same prompts or less prompts. Perfect, totally colorable, the F away from the edge, some graphics in the background. The fire truck is super cute. Let's create one more. Let's do something that goes in the air. So we're going to do the helicopter and we'll put an H. And hopefully it doesn't give us the grass on the ground, unless the helicopter's on the ground safely. You see how if we perfect the prompt, it all goes quicker and much smoother. Great, it gave us a helicopter. It did put it a little close to the ground, but maybe it's just taking off. So we'll go over to Nano Banana and let's see what it gives us. So I'm going to put in the whole prompt and let's see what it gives us. It came back super quick. The F looks like it can't be colored and the smiley face on the sun. It's not the aesthetic we're going for, but it's not bad and came back super quick. We changed the prompt slightly to make the F an outline. So let's see what it gives us. Perfect. We didn't say anything about the sun. We can just leave that or we can change it. And it gave us the F. Looks great. Let's see what it does with the helicopter. Wonderful. Super quick. The sun still has a smile. This time I put no face on any graphic and let's see if that sun has a smile. I'm noticing straight away that it's so much faster than ChatGPT. So I definitely think if you need something that's quicker, that's wonderful. But I see the sun still has a smile. So let's see if we can get that removed somehow. So I'm going to copy this prompt and just add a blanket, no faces. So let's see what happens. I honestly don't think this is even taking 30 seconds. Next time I'm going to have to time it. Perfect. Literally less than 20 seconds. There's no smiley face in the sun. Sad to see you go, but it's not the aesthetic. There's the H outline and a beautiful helicopter. So let's create the motorcycle. Super fast and it's all done. Follow the directions. I think it could be a little cuter. So let's try it one more time. I am noticing a bit of a consistency issue with Nano Banana. So now it jumps to a completely different looking motorcycle. It's a little bit too different of an aesthetic. It's too realistic looking. So I think the first one is closer to what we want. Let me download these. And I'm gonna try the motorcycle one more time. It's going a little bit longer than it usually is. So I'm gonna create a new chat. Full disclosure, I do have ChatGPT Pro and Gemini Pro so that I could make these tutorials. So it's more of a dirt bike illustration, but I think this could work. Before I exit out of Nano Banana, I want to try a super simple, straightforward prompt to see what it gives us. So I typed in create a motorcycle coloring page with an outline M for a kid's coloring book. Super quick, came back, doesn't look bad. I think you could also use a prompt like that. Nano Banana is just a little different where I don't think you need as much prompting as you do on ChatGPT, but I also noticed that ChatGPT, once you get the prompt, it gives you exactly what you're thinking. So here's my take on ChatGPT. I thought it was pretty decent and you already have it. It's great for covers and it's pretty decent for insides as well. It's free or cheap, depending on which version you have, but it is a little bit slower and requires the prompt. So if you don't have the prompt, it might take a little bit of time to get started. Nano Banana was super fast, pretty clean pages with minimal pixelating, minimal prompting required. It did have some refinements and had some issues remembering stuff. It will have the watermark and it is a paid tool. And I think that you can use any of these for a digital download or a KDP coloring book. 
and how to turn the final book into a real product that you can sell on Amazon KDP or a digital product on Etsy.